Okay. <laughs> really? Mm. Diane, I have really been looking forward to seeing you because when you came to Fort Worth recently and had the party for your grandparents right, at the right. country club, I was invited to the party, but I was out of town that weekend. I know. So I had to decline the invitation, and I was very, very sorry to miss that. I hear it was terrific. It was nice. It was very warm and friendly because we were just invited his friends. You know, we don't have that many friends of our own. We have their friends, my grandparents, and it was. It was very well appreciated and it went over well. I, I had to leave, I, I threw the party and then I had to leave early, which was kind of absurd, but it worked out pretty well. You know, I, I'm, not, I'm not a uh, <laughs> practice hostess, but it turned out all right. I was very happy about it, but I could do something for him. You know, he's 75 and you don't hit 75 very many times. It's <laughs> one, a one-time thing. Well, I, I know it was a, a big occasion for all of you. Yeah. But now we have this chance to talk here in New York about Rumblefish, right. your new movie with Matt Dillon. Right. And uh, uh, first of all, when you were making the film, uh -huh. did you realize that it was going to be, turn out to be so surrealistic? Oh, yes. Uh, well, we could tell by the movements of the camera that it was going to be filmed. Uh, it's just, it, Francis said he wanted to make an art film, a teenage art film, and I think he has because it's so stylized, and it's black and white, of course, which has its own feel, and uh, it's really a study, it's of course sort of a study in, in a life, lifestyle and situations and things, and uh, the way it's filmed with all the stylistic things that are going on, I think that captures a lot of nuances and things that aren't in the dialogue or necessarily in the plot and stuff. So the way it was filmed is very important to how the film is, you know, received anyway, but especially this one, you know. Uh, you, uh, of course, uh, are Matt Dillon's girlfriend yeah. in it. Mm -hmm. And um, off, off uh, stage and mm -hmm. off the screen, do you all have any sort of, of a relationship not really. I mean, it's very hard to stay in touch. I've been working all the time, which is good, I suppose, being an actress. And <laughs> usually they're unemployed. But um, anyway, it, not really. I mean, off stage we weren't really very close anyway during the filming. I mean, all the scenes that I had in the film were with him, and I wasn't very in touch with his life either. The characters. Uh, I, wa I wasn't familiar with Matt's life other than our working together, and Patty isn't familiar with Rusty James's life aside from their relationship, and she's very worried about what else is going on. So, I mean, uh, Matt and I were friendly, but we never really, you know, may have had a had a real connection or anything. So, <laughs> I guess the answer would be no, <laughs> to put it in a long way. Diane, uh, a recent magazine had a big profile of you and your life. And uh, do you, you know the one I mean? I'm not sure. Uh, movies. Oh, yeah, the movies, the movies. Yeah. Yes. Okay, now you were very candid yes. about your early life. Yeah. And uh, talked about your parents and... Um, well, they interviewed them as well. I mean, it was sort of an objective story because they interviewed me, made it for several hours, and then they flew to Georgia to interview my mother, and of course they interviewed my father. So they've got like three different versions of <laughs> one life, and, and of course their lives as well. So uh, they sort of wound up with their own point of view because it was pretty, I'm sure, different points of view. It's hard to capture in one article. What did you think when you read the, uh, the story? I didn't mind uh, the stuff inside. I thought they sensationalized it a bit, especially the way they started out the article with me sort of saying contradictory things about my mother, which I regret terribly. Uh, but you live and you learn, you know. Uh, <laughs> you learn and you live. Anyway, um, uh, the only thing that really bothered me, and I say bothered because that was the initial reaction, it was the cover uh, title, you know, Mommy and Daddy Dearest. When my, when my father saw that, he was really upset and he said, I don't even want to read what's inside of it. Why do you do this, Diane? Why do you perpetuate uh, these ugly images of your past? And I said, I really didn't. I mean, these things really happen. And when he read it, he said, oh, it's, it's not as bad as I thought. I mean, it's truth telling and you're really supposed to protect yourself from people invading your privacy and knowing all these things about you and forming opinions based on stuff they read in very pat black and white summations, you know. So uh, 
I put myself in a weird position talking about all that stuff, but I sort of purged. I got it in one article, and I hope I never do it again <laughs> because I've learned that you can never, I mean, unless I'm going to write it myself and edit it myself, and I'm, I'm a good writer. I mean, I've gotten awards in school for my writing. I'm not worried about it, but <laughs> I don't think I want to write about myself anyway until much later I have more to talk about. I don't know why I'm saying this. But anyway, I'm just saying because it's hard that it's hard to live with uh, the, the black and white version of uh, what you say about your life and uh, other people. And was your mother upset also? I'm sure she was. I really don't know what her reaction. I mean, she sort of laughed at it and said, yeah, I figured I, I was going to be the scapegoat of, you know, whatever negativity went on consistently throughout my life. You know, it wasn't constant. It was just consistent. It was always disruptions and things going on and sort of volatile situation between my parents' relationship and everything. But I think all that stuff really contributes to, uh, it forms a well which you can draw on in your life being a creative person. I mean, that happens if you look back in the lives of a lot of creative people. They've, got, they've lived through a lot of stuff that they have to draw on, whether in sense memory or whatever you call that, and certain acting theories, you know. And uh, I'm, I certainly, I feel good about it, and I, I, don't, I don't have any regrets, you know. And I, I, the only regret I have is maybe the way <laughs> the stories were. And that particular article was slanted, sort of a, a martyr attitude, which I do not have. You know, I have, I have a very good outlook, I think, considering you know, the stuff that did go on, <laughs> which is pretty heavy. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I, I, you know, I liked my life, and I do very much now. It's very well-rounded, and I think that's important. You know? Well, I can certainly say, Diane, that your performance in Rumblefish is outstanding. Thank you very much. Outstanding. Thanks. I like the film so much, I wish it had a bigger part. But <laughs> was it yeah. supposed to have been bigger? No, no. No, that was it. Same with Outsiders, too, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, I don't usually do these cameos. It's not a cameo, but it's pretty fairly soon. The, the guy's girl, and that's the role I've been cast in almost all of Francis' films, the ones that I've done, um, because it's always the guy's story. Uh, I, you know, I usually like to, I would like the idea of doing larger parts, but it's sort of paid off because he's cast me in Cotton Club, and he said, well, we'll do one for you, Diane, he kept saying. He's so paternal and, and warm, anyway. But, uh, well, we'll look forward to that one, but yeah. meanwhile, we hope Rumblefish it's a big hit for you. Thank you. And uh, next time you come to Fort Worth, let me know. Okay. And maybe we can get together the next time. You. We'll try it okay. Again. Thanks, okay. Diane. Yeah. Thank you. Tom, would you stop tape? <coughs> My name is Roland. Stand by for speed. Do you want me to talk? Okay. Have speed. Diane, at the time you were making the movie, did you realize it would be so surrealistic? Do you and Matt Dillon have any sort of relationship off screen? What was your reaction when you read that story about yourself in Movies Magazine? How did your father react? Was your mother upset about it? Well, your performance is just outstanding in Rumblefish. Okay, that should do it. Thank Great. you.